What we're going to talk about in this segment of the video is how you communicate with the concrete driver to get you know the, the manhole poured back in the way you want it without damaging it. A lot of guys, you know, they want to do it the way you want it done, but if you don't communicate with them properly, then it's not going to happen. So what I would say is, Tom, this is the concrete driver for this truck. When he arrives on the job, I would say, Tom, I want this about a four and a half inch slump. We're using a six and a half bag mixed concrete. I always order it at a four and a half inch slump. You don't want it real wet because if you're on a slope, it's all going to try to come around to the low side. And then I would say, Tom, we're going to pour three inches in in a ring. And as soon as we get that three inches in, my guy will put a reinforcing ring in. You just keep right on pouring. Go right on around and we'll go to the top of this manhole and then we'll put another ring in. The reason I don't want a lot on one side, it could push the insert liner off one side, leaving a hole and concrete would go into the manhole. So it isn't hard, it's just common sense, but if you don't communicate and the guy's never done it before, he's probably gonna disappoint you. So, and if this truck is a front loader, which the operator can see exactly what's going on, in a lot of cities we work in, they're rear dumps. So you're going to be running the chute. Very important that you discuss hand signals with the driver so he knows what he can't do what you don't tell him. So hold your arm out where he can see. Discuss hand signals before you start to pour so he knows what your hand signals mean. And then communicate. He'll only do what you tell him to do. So, you know, help him out. Make his job easy.